Okay, let's take this, uh, so it's G registration, so either 1989 or 1990. Um, Land Rover 90, 2.5 turbo diesel um, truck cab pickup for a spin. Ignition lights and all light come up properly, as does the cold start light. Need a little bit of heat. Should be enough. There we go. Starts reasonably well, hot or cold, no problems at all there. Um, doesn't need a lot of churning. Yep, heat of low motors working. Let's see what she's like. It's got power steering. I've just done a few miles on it and it's performed really nicely. Shut my door properly. My coat trapped in it. And off we go. Um, the yellow light that's flickering a bit is the low fuel warning light. But so it seems to drive quite happily. Um, certainly no hesitancy or importantly no overheating. The temperature gauge is, uh, as I've just done about half, I get half an hour ago, done uh, five or six miles in it, and it's not given any um, signs of getting hot or anything. The temperature gauge is showing about a quarter at the moment. Stops nicely. Looking out the back, it's not a smoky old thing. Certainly when it's warmed up, probably smokes a bit from cold though, is the... It feels quite lively. All the instruments in front of me are working properly. Speedo fuel gauge and temperature gauge showing 106,000 miles. Gearbox feels nice, there's no uh, synchro problems or funny noises from the gearbox at all or any of the transmission. It's not, um, there's no backlash in the transmission either. It seems to drive absolutely fine. Steering's nice. It's not um, not wandering about all over the road like a boat. It's going where it's put. The steering wheel's a couple of degrees off centre, off to the left. We had new track rod ends on at some point. We have actually got a modicum of heat, I think, especially if we... Yeah, heat actually works quite nicely. It's going to be important in the next couple of months. It's got a radio CD, which is trying to pick up a station, so it obviously works. But no, the transmission is very clonk free. If I let my foot off, there's a minimal amount of backlash, but no more than that. Well in high gear. Second gear synchro is perfect.
those sort of nasty bumps, squeaks, expensive rattles or groans or anything, it just gets on with it. Too much more can say about it, really, it just does the job. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk. End 